All right, so supplies you're gonna need are you're gonna need some plastic cups, some tape, as well as some paper and paint. So in a couple of your plastic cups, you're going to want to put a small hole at the bottom. Um, this is so the paint can pour out. Uh, and that's how we're actually going to be painting. Uh, you're also going to want to mix your paint with some water so that it flows a little nicer. So to set up your pendulum, you're going to take either some chip. These are some sawhorses I had in my backyard. These can be replaced with some folding chairs. Uh, you could put it in between two tables. Um, you're going to then hang your cups. I have three here. You can do one, you can do two. It's totally up to your choice. Uh, you're going to hang them from a pole suspended in between uh, your two chairs, whatever you chose to use. This can be, you know, a broom handle, a uh, piece of wood you have laying around. And you're going to then hang your three cups from that piece. And you're going to put a piece of tape over the hole that you put in your cup so that the paint doesn't drip out automatically on you. All right, so one of the last steps is you're going to go, you're going to put your paper under your pendulum and you're going to pour in the paint uh, that you mixed with water, uh, probably in another cup because uh, we don't want a hole losing all of our paint. So you're going to pour them into the cups with the hole uh, using the tape to keep our paint in and you'll be all set to start painting. Right, and there you go. So you can see the pendulum, you know, goes and makes some really cool, interesting mixtures of colors. Um, I used a little too much water in this example, but, you know, you could play around with it. It's based off of how large you make your holes, how runny you want to make your paint. So thank you for joining us today, and have a nice day.